Hello, assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Dr. Ninda Sheikh from Dental Magic. If you are new here, then welcome. If you are already been a Dental Magic family, then welcome back. Today's video is going to be very interesting for you guys because in this video, I will be telling you about the changes and the new updates in the dental licensing exam of UK. These changes are announced in Jan 2023. If you want to know the details, then stay tuned and watch the video till end. So what we are waiting for? Let's start. Before diving into the video, if you are interested in such videos, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be the dental magic family. So diving back and coming back to the topic. The changes and the new update that is brought up by the Dental Council of UK in the dental licensing exam that has brought us a very good news. After listening to this big news, you all will cheer up my dental magic fam. Hold your breath. The first big news is the LDS exam that is the license in dental surgery of UK which is conducted by the Royal College London is going to be online completely isn't it great to hear this such a good news all the aspirants who are looking forward to give the exam to work as a dentist in uk who all were hassled and worried about the visa the traveling the tickets the flight booking and everything you don't have to hassle about anymore because the exam is online so you can be in your hometown and give the exam as the eldest exam of UK will be online and will be held online across the globe. Earlier, the LDS exam used to be held in presence in it was held in London, uh, which was conducted by the Royal College of London. And now it is announced to be online. So the people who are new here and new to my channel and don't know what I'm talking about, then don't worry. Let me give you a quick synopsis. To work in UK as a dentist, you have two ways to get a license. That is ORE, Overseas Registration Exam and LDS, License in Dental Surgery. These are the two exams that is conducted in UK itself and you get a license to practice as a dentist after clearing any one of the exam. To know more in detail, go and check out my video on difference on ORE and LDS and uh, I will provide the link in the description box below so you can go and check it out. So uh, for ORE that is, is overseas registration exam, there is no changes in that exam so it's as it is uh, it was earlier. Now coming to the LDS, the changes have been brought in LDS exam. So let me give you a quick background check of LDS. So LDS exam is changing up until the examination of Jan 2020. Till Jan 2020, it was held in London, but uh, after the COVID, it was announced online for the time period of COVID, but now it's entirely online. Earlier, the LDS exam has two parts. Part one was having in the MCQs, that is multiple choice question, which comprises of single best answers and extended matching. And this was this exam was held in London only. So you have to travel all the way to London to give this exam. And the exam fees for part one was £850, which was only for the exam fees. The traveling and the other expenses was not included in this. The part two exam comprises of the practical skills, which include the dental mannequin, OSCE, that is objective structured clinical examination. And the third is unseen cases assessment. So the candidate has to clear all these three components in order to attain pass in part two examination. I hope you got an idea how the LDS structure was earlier and what, is, what was the fees and how it was held. So these are the some guidance and guidelines that you have to follow and the documents that you have to submit for registering for LDS part one. It is mentioned on the website for the reference. I have put the documents, but uh, for further information, you can go and check their website now. So let me talk about the updates and the new changes that are included in this LDS exam. 
so the part one the part one exam is same as it was like it consists of mcqs that is the best single answer and the extended matching so it is as it is it is unchanged the pattern is unchanged so here is a small disclaimer as you all know it is online but we don't know about the centers as in covid you were allowed to give the exam from your home itself but uh, now the covid is over and we have overcome it so i don't know whether they will be uh, held in the centers or you will be allowed to sit in your home and give the exam so for the details you have to go and check with the gdc so do your own research on this part so part one is uh, unchanged except for the fees the fees for the part one is now 900 pounds earlier it was 850 but now it is 900 which is quite uh, expensive but not that much as earlier you have to uh, see the travel expenses the living expenses the food expensive and expenses and everything that has to be included along with this fees now you just have to worry about the examination fees so the updated version of lds comprises of three parts earlier it was just two parts but now it is three parts the first part is that um, mcq's one nothing is changed it is an unchanged pattern but except the fees the fees is now 900 pound earlier it was 850 as i have told and coming to the part two the part two consists of unseen case assessment and ose that is objective structured clinical examination which will cost you around 1575 pounds dental mannequin component will move to the separate part three that would also assess the same element as the previous same element of the previously covered OSCE stations to form a new practical skill. So part three comprises of the practical skill whose fees will be 1525 pounds. The candidates have still to pass part one in order to sit in part two and likewise they have to clear part two in order to sit in part three examination and the candidates who have passed part one they don't have to resit in this exam comment down below if you have any more queries and i will come up with the answers for you guys so now let me tell you why this new structure is formed and what are the benefits that you will get to get this new updated version of the licensing exam so the first thing is minimizing duplication of assessment for those who have previously passed osce and usc components but have to resist these if they previously failed the dental mannequin component ensuring that candidate only have to pay to sit those component that they have yet to pass enabling the rcs england to offer more frequent diets of part three component ensuring that candidates are able to accommodate it with the examination more efficiently the last but not the least is facilitating the structure in which all of the practical elements would be assessed within the same component that is the part three enabling the candidate to adopt a more focused approach to their examination preparation so these are some of the benefits that you will be getting in this updated version of the licensing exam so let me tell you about the timing and the assessment of the examination so let me talk about the part one that is the unchanged and the format is that you will be having two parts for 150 minutes and the assessment aim is applied knowledge part two consists of two things that is osce and unseen cases let me talk about osce that will comprise of 12 station that will each station you have to give seven minutes and the assessment aim will be applied knowledge clinical skills clinical skills include radiograph interpretation prescription writing obtaining consent etc and peer communication, spoken medical emergency response, oral health and population-based healthcare, ethical and legal principles, principles of safe practice. Now coming to the part two of unseen cases, it will comprises of the four cases and you will get 30 minutes. 
So the assessment aim is history taking, investigation, diagnosis, treatment planning, patient and peer communication. Now coming to the last part that is part three, it will comprise of 180 minute assessment that will be included uh, the assessment aim will be practical clinical dental skills and one major thing is each of these assessment aims will continue to be applied to the coverage of the preparing for practice curriculum so it is very important for you to understand their practice curriculum and the skills it's very important for you to understand everything and you should know the basics to just uh, get to the conclusion and to know how you can get through this exam successfully. Now let me talk about the number of attempts that you can get for this exam for each part. So part for part one, you can get four attempts. For part two, you will get three attempts and part three, you will get three attempts. As you can see the table on my screen. So this were the number of attempts that you can get for each part. Currently, Candidates are required to pass the part two within five years of passing the part one and are permitted four attempts for each part of the examination with the revised structure of the examination while the overall currency period of five mm. years between passing the part one and completing the examination should not change. Mm. The number of attempts permitted will be revised as indicated as I have mentioned earlier and as the screen is showing you. There are some transitional assessment changes for the candidates who are appearing for part two. So the transitional changes are the previously passes at the OSCE or USC component in the context of an overall fail will not be recognized in the line with the examination regulation all previous attempts at the part two will still still count in order to preserve the principal informing limit on attempts in first place candidate who have failed the part two three previous occasion are still be eligible to sit the reframe part on one further occasion. so that's it for the video if you are interested in such videos and you like the video then don't forget to share it with your friends and family and if you like the video and it helped you in any way, then don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe my channel and be the Dento Magic family. And Dento Magic wish you all the very best and I hope you have understood the concept of the updated version of the LDS exam. If you have any query, you can comment down. You're free to comment down and I will answer you all. And stay tuned till the next video. Till then, stay safe, be happy. Allah!